what will happen today and ignores for what will happen tomorrow. He didn't contemplate that if he will cut all those trees, the next generation would never have the chance to enjoy what they have experienced today. In reviewing the book, I found out that the author was using jargons. And for my own perspective, the author should avoid using different jargons because it is a children's book. Children do not have the same vocabulary. Some words may be difficult for others, and some were not. However, how the author transcribed it, it is very poetic and eye-touching to the readers. The book was released in 1971, yet the author have already the mentality and the purpose to warn the upcoming generations about the consequences that will destroy the beauty of the nature, about the too much progress and advancement. I found out that the purpose of Dr. Seuss when he wrote The Lorax was he wanted to show to the readers about conservation and environmentalism because at that time, the eucalyptus trees was being threatened. That's why he wants to try to fight it by advocating the suburban development project in his hometown, the La Jolla, California. Before we end up with this review, I have questions that I want to ask to you if you really learn something about this review. Are you guys ready? Then if you are, let's get started. The first question, who was the author of the Lorax? A. Nicholas Sparks B. Dr. Seuss Or C. Emily Griffin The answer is letter B, Dr. Seuss. Yay! Okay. Number two, what is the name of the trees that was being cut by the Wessler? Letter A, travel trees. Letter B, coconut trees. Or letter C, trifila trees. The answer is Letter C, Chifula Trees. Yay! The last question is, what year the book was released? Letter A, 1971. Letter B, 1999. Or letter C, 1979. The answer is A, 1971. I learned that as an individual, I must take a social action in a very simple way to preserve our mother nature, such as to avoid cutting of trees, throwing my garbage to the proper places, and joining tree planting. Okay. I should also respect the nature, including its resources such as the trees and the animals that they deserve to be respect and they need us to speak for them. I really believe that we can make a change. We should be the advocators of change. This is for today's vlog. Thank you for watching and see you soon on my next video. Bye!